Hello everyone. This is Murphy Daily. I'm coming at you from Written by Murphy. And this is a moment of wonder. It's Monday. Happy end of Monday. This is uh, Monday in California, so it is late for a lot of people. On the East Coast, it's evening, which is often kick back and watch TV time. Ah, you know, it was a uh, it was a good day today, and I was very sleepy, so I wanted to just chill, but I thought, no, I want to go and speak out. I've got a few backlogged things. A couple weeks ago, I read Plato's Republic. I'd always meant to read it, and okay, technically, it was on audiobook. Sometimes with the tough ones, you got to have it pushed at you. So I had... Socrates and his blah 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 pushed at me. I'd always thought I needed to read it because it seems to be so foundational. I remember learning in grade school about America is a republic, a, a democratic republic. What? Well, a republic is no, a isn't that funny? So, Plato's well, a a democracy is when everyone gets to vote and everyone has a responsibility to be the ruling class and a republic is when you choose some people to represent you and that's the republic so the italy's like rome ancient italy their republic happened or republic fell apart after Julius Caesar took over and became the Caesar, the Julius of the Caesar. And, um, but Plato was supposed to be involved in a democratic situation, which is funny why I stopped for a minute there going, wait a minute, he is supposed to be in Athens where everyone is a citizen, everyone's a citizen and therefore they all have a vote and they directly vote like a democracy. You know, of course, you can say women didn't vote and slaves didn't vote, so it's not truly a democracy. Yeah, it wasn't truly a democracy. But it was the first time that even close to the idea had happened. So Plato was writing about this guy named Socrates who had all these ideas, and so he was working it out with some people. I don't remember their names. We could look it up, but he worked it out with a bunch of different people about how a government should really be handled. And I'd heard very uh, good things about Socrates and the Greeks and how they managed their government and how they were an inspiration for America and all of the best governments everywhere, right? Sure. So I had been meaning to engage with Republic and I finally did. Socrates was completely annoying. That guy. He was constantly, he was this whole back and forth, like, well, okay, Mr. Person that I'm talking to, isn't this true? And the person would say, true. And he would say, well, if that's true, then this is true, right? True. And he, I'm like, yeah. About the third time that happened, he would not be invited to the party again because he was totally dominating it. And yeah, he was leading people through an idea that he was trying to get across, but that gets old pretty quick when you're trying to eat dinner. And I was thinking, yeah, I don't think he probably really talked like that. I think he probably talked like that some of the time and some of the time he played checkers or, you know, poker or whatever they played back in Athens and just chilled out and was nice to people. Otherwise, they would have been really sick of having him around. So I think that probably Plato, who was writing about Socrates, who was supposed to be a real guy, because I would have thought that maybe he was fictional, but there are other references to him outside of just um, Plato. But Plato wrote a lot for this guy. I think that Plato was creating a uh, an authorish character that he did he did it that way so he was writing down like how socrates would um express himself and put forth ideas with people 
So he described, well, if, if this is true, then this is how we should, it took a long time to get there of how his republic should be. And he, t at the beginning, it was really basic. So you're following along, yeah, 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 fine, Socrates, okay. But towards the end, it was getting really, really tight. He had, he was describing a very limited set of choices for people. And I'm like, yeah, I could see how this, this book would be interesting because it was talking about social engineering, saying this is how the government should be and this is how people should behave. But I would not, that was not a very free society he described. It was extremely controlling. People did not have a lot of choices. And I thought, okay, well, at least I don't think anyone has actually implemented his ideas. It was an interesting thought experiment, and it's definitely worth doing. But I'm really glad that we progressed beyond that. I think I said at the beginning that uh, it wasn't really a democracy because women and slaves weren't allowed to vote. And I thought, man, Socrates, if Socrates had been a woman, if it was a woman talking like that, she never could have gotten away with it. Just to be so iterative and, well, this is true, isn't it? And, you know, those guys agreed with him way too fast. They should have fought a little harder for their ideas. So I thought, I'm really glad I read Plato's Republic. And it was an interesting piece of its time. But um, we have progressed a lot since then. It was the beginning. But we have made a lot of advancements in government. I'm really fond of the fact that as a woman, I get to vote and that we have a, that I personally have a lot of choice. So that's what I've been thinking about today. And I am sitting here choosing to share with you my thoughts about Plato's Republic and the methods of Socrates. Sometimes it feels like our choices are narrowed, and they are because we make the choice a long time ago, and it doesn't seem like a choice after a while. But it's really wonderful to be able to revisit choices and make them again. I made the choice a while ago to work on Monday and have a job. I'm happy with that choice, even though it felt like it was a treadmill kind of day. And at the end of the treadmill, I thought, oh, I should just relax Ugh, and chill out. But I stopped and made the choice to share some of my thoughts with you in this moment of wonder, thinking about some of the stuff I'm reading about. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say it. If you're listening, please write a one in the comments so I know you're listening. And if you're watching the replay, give me a two so I know you got the replay. And tell me what you think about government or Plato or the Greeks or choices. I'd love to hear about it. Let's continue the conversation.